Good morning, YouTube. Happy Sunday to you all. It's um, a little bit afternoon, and welcome once again to uh, my regular smoking spot, which is my balcony. I've been smoking here for a little bit now. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I. <laughs> I've been posting a lot today. Well, not a whole lot, but like three things. Um, I'm still doing uh, Brother Buntar's Instagram Pipe Community 30 day picture challenge. Uh, and today we had to post uh, Virginia. So first I posted Virginia Woolf, then I posted a picture of the state or commonwealth um, of where I live, which is the um, uh, Virginia. I am here in Alexandria, that's Northern Virginia. Just across the river from Washington DC, our nation's capital. Uh, but now I just recently posted I'm smoking today. Let's see if it. Which is Dunhill Flake. And that just says right there on the box it's uh, Virginia Pipe Tobacco. So let me start by saying date night was a bust last night. that I'm not going to the movies uh, she said why don't we stay in and uh, watch something on demand and order some takeout to which to, in my head I said oh great I get to save $30 <laughs> so we didn't want to order pizza or Chinese, which is usually what we order when we stay in and order out um, or order in. Um, so we said, let's order Thai. There are very few Thai restaurants that deliver. I wish there were other. I wish sushi would deliver, but as, as you know, no sushi restaurant really, really does. Found a place on Yelp that said it delivered and it was within range of where we live. Um, sorry about that, I think I heard a big bug buzzing and I just didn't want to get stung by a bee. I'm not allergic or anything, but I've had my share of uh, bee stings and they're not pleasant, <laughs> even if you're not allergic. Anyway, so we called this place, placed the order. They said it was going to be here in 45 minutes. Lo and behold, 50 minutes later, still no food. So I called back and I inquired as, as to where our order is. And the lady says, um, driver just left. It should be, should be there soon. I'm like, great. Another 40 minutes go by and still no food so i called again and she's and the lady says oh yeah drivers uh, can find your place which is understandable it's the the setup in this complex is kind of weird so our buildings face each other so you can see the um this, the building numbers from the street but they do have our our, our phone number and in fact we said had the driver call because it's sometimes difficult to find our our place and the lady says, oh yeah, the guy's been trying to call because she can find your place, but the number's disconnected. I'm like, no, it's not. So I give her the number, 
which by the way the first time I called let's give her the number again and she was able to find the address with that just by giving her the number so she had it right but she kept saying two instead of three when she was repeating it so I corrected her uh, she said okay he'll be right there but at this time it's you know it's been almost two hours since we called I'm starving so I called her right back and I said, okay, so but how far is he? Because it's been almost two hours. He said, well, he came back and he's going to go again. So at this point, I just said, let's just cancel the order because it's been two hours since we called. So I think that's why we don't order Thai too often. Because I know that we've ordered from a Thai place since we've been living here. Um, but... Um, it took them a while to get here. So I ended up calling the um, Mexican place just down the street and it was like 20 minutes before they closed but they were able to make our food in 15 minutes and I was able to pick it up before they closed so that was great. Hmm, excuse me, my matches are under the camera. Oh, it's not too bad either. Anyways. Hope your Sunday is going great. Mine is certainly going very well. It's uh, not as cold as it was yesterday. I am still wearing a fleece jacket over my shirt. Um, so yeah, so that was my evening yesterday, but it was good. We ended up catching up with, um, uh, the arrow and the flash and edges of shield. If you've been watching arrow, especially if you've been watching from when it first came on like I have because I, I I know I didn't jump in on the uh, Smallville uh, bandwagon so I didn't want to miss on the arrow I think the writers have lost their way a little bit they're, they're getting too far-fetched these newer episodes I mean from around few episodes into season one when they introduced the huntress into the arrow world and somebody else i don't remember quite right now who it was but they were you know they're obviously batman villains if you know the comics lore um i figured they were making the arrow to be into um their tv universes batman since they can touch batman right now or superman for that matter And now with the addition of the Flash, they make him, they're making him uh, into the Superman. You know, he's the one that's got the powers, or metahuman as they're calling metas. And the arrow's the dark, brooding one like Batman. So that's even more obvious. But I don't know, this season when they introduce Rasha Ghul, and I'm sorry if you haven't been watching, I'm going to bore you for a little bit. It's gotten really weird. I love the way they did um, the Black Canary on, in the second season, but now in this season, then that Laurel uh, has become the Black Canary without any training. It has been weird. And now that this last episode with Oliver taking over the mantle of Rasha Ghoul has been way off the mark. So these episodes have gotten really weird. Hopefully they can get back to how good the series was when it first came on. The first two series or seasons were fantastic. Anyways, how long has this video been? Over nine minutes. 
I'm gonna cut it off now. Um, I don't like my videos to be too long, especially when I'm not just tagging anything in particular. There we go, sorry. I had to make sure my pipe didn't go out. So I hope you have a good rest of your Sunday. And till I see you again, this is a magnifico scene. May God bless you all. So long. Thanks for all the fish. Till I see you again.